Yo, what is going on? Happy Friday. We are coming at you live from downtown Chicago. The date is the 5th of July. Hopefully you had a wonderful Independence Day. We are back at the office getting after it. Got a wonderful live order segment coming up right here in a second. Um, for those of you who don't know, my name is Brendan. We're a fine writing stationery shop here in downtown Chicago at Atlas Stationers. We have Crystal behind the camera and some fun stuff is set for today's agenda. In our Discord server, we have our friend Lucas, whose birthday it is today. So make sure you give a huge shout out and a huge happy birthday to Lucas because he has been a supporter of our channel and our shop for many years now. And he wanted to do something super fun. So when we are done pulling these orders, Lucas actually wanted us to pull three mystery boxes of ink that he will then roll a dice to give away to three lucky winners whose order we have pulled. So we really appreciate how supportive he is of the community and you know how generous he is to give back like that. And I'm just super excited because we love giving things away and I know you get excited if you are a winner. So make sure you stay to the end of the video. We'll do his order last. We're gonna have three mystery boxes to give away. Uh, otherwise, we got about 15 orders here to get after today. Uh, as always, we've got our gifts set up, ready to rock. Uh, we did have our team pull some items on these orders ahead of time, just because some of the items that we carry are a little bit more challenging for me to find per se. Woof! How we doing? Everyone saying hello. Hello, Lucas everyone. Says good morning. Lucas says good morning from Gizmo Geek. Excellent. And Lucas is Gizmo Geek, by the way, on TikTok, by the way. So make sure you say what's up, give some love. Say happy birthday, yeah. So how this will work, uh, since Brian's not here and we don't have another mic set up, Crystal will read the comments and I will repeat the comments and then provide an answer. So please feel free to chat in the comment section as much as you want and we'll address it, okay? All right, let's jump into it. First one we got is Laura M, order number 184667. With a nice note here saying, I would be thrilled if you can pull this order live. I know mystery inks are a possibility. And if that's in the cards for me, I love something dramatic, shocking, and cool tones. Thanks for making this such a fun session. So there you go. That's a shout out to, to Lucas right there for his uh, mystery boxes that we're giving away. But the first item that we have on this order is going to be the Ferris Wheel Press Feathered Flight. This is a fountain pen with a fine nib, a nice soft blue. And then the last item is going to be the Bob Ross mug, which I actually don't know where those are at. I'm gonna assume back here. Okay. We actually featured this on our socials yesterday because it was news to me that Bob Ross actually passed away on the 4th of July. So we did a little homage to Bob Ross and we filled up his mug with water and it actually changes the scenery on the mug. It's pretty crazy. So I bet you didn't know we carried this in our shop. So what a lovely way to start. Laura, thank you so much. We've got a card right here for you. Um, spend your summer at the beach. It won't be a bummer to keep these goodies in reach. That's an original poem from Brian M, our team member here at Atlas. Perfect. And then for the gift, we're going to give you the best B-Fact Estabrook notebook. That's a big one right there. You guys, if you want to place an order and join the queue, you just got to go to our website, atlasstationers.com, and then leave a note at the checkout screen to ask to join to, uh, oh my goodness, asking to join to, I can't, I can't even talk today, holy cow, asking to join the queue for next video session. You guys, holy cow, that was a tongue twister. But my point is, your order can be pulled just like this, as you see here. All right, let's get after it. Next up, we got Alex L, order number 184708. This one's for a pilot pen and a Waringal Scarecrow ink. We're gonna read this note as we walk over here. You know, me stumbling right there, you guys, that's just proof that this is all improvised. So, here we go. And you never know what you're gonna get on camera. It depends on uh, the mood, the day. So this one right here is part of the Wizard of Oz collection. Let's go to the back and grab the pilot. Yeah, the crazy thing is I'm not even tired. I got like a full 11 hours of sleep. Yeah, and I had a matcha tea. I think it's just because we're stuck in that limbo of like between a holiday and then the weekend. So it feels like a Monday, but it's Friday. Just an interesting day. All right, so we're looking for the Pilot Custom 823 the amber with the signature nib. This is their new nib that they released when they brought over the clear model 
from Japan. Okay, I think it's this guy right here. Uh, somebody in the comments says, what's a good wet fountain pen? I can buy it now. What's a good wet fountain pen? So that is a fantastic question. Uh, it depends on how much you're looking to spend, but if you prefer wet nibs, some great options would be from Pelican. Uh, they're a German brand that have a lot in the lineup. Uh, we sell uh, basically the M200 model, which is about $250, and then all the way up to the M1000, which is about $800. Those nibs run really broad, so really juicy. Uh, so I would check out Pelican. Uh, otherwise, I mean, if the chat has other recommendations, please let us know. Uh, this pen right here is actually a really wet writer if you get the broad nib. So this is the 823. We'll show you what it looks like. However, it's going to be sealed in this plastic wrap. But this pen is super fire. Just type in the 823. It won our fountain pen tournament three years in a row, and it's considered the best pen of all time by many. Okay. Cool. Uh, Great question. Ken Ken says, Twisby Ecos are fairly wet. Twisby Ecos, yep. So most people don't realize that the Twisby Ecos, uh, which was just suggested as a wet rider, actually use German nibs. So a lot of times the Western nibs are more broad than the Eastern nibs. So that's a great recommendation. Okay. So Alex, your note here says uh, you're cutting back on the pen budget. So you might not be, we might not be seeing you too often anymore. You know, everyone always says that. So nice try. It's always the last one to the next one. Uh, couldn't in good conscience do that without picking up an 823 first. I expect you may see me for the odd bay new when one catches my eye in the next few months. Well, if you're taking a hiatus, it's always a pleasure, Alex. We'll see you next time we see you. Got Somebody the card right here. Says, Once I bought a, a Pilot Vanishing Point, I'll never go back. The, that's a great uh, recommendation. The Pilot Vanishing Point, I forgot to give the sticker to our friend here. Um, but the Pilot Vanishing Point, if you're going to go for Juicy, again, go with like a medium or a broad. Those use an 18 karat gold nib, so it'll feel very soft. Uh, but great pen nonetheless. We sell a ton of them every day here. So, all right, Alex, thank you for the love. Stay smooth. All right, Tanya's in the chat. She says hi. What's up, Tanya? How we doing? Happy Friday. Uh, hey, somebody else in the chat says, what's a good nib size on a Twisty Eco for a Shimmer Ink? Uh, I would suggest anything medium or higher, medium, broader stub. The broader the nib, the less likely uh, it will clog from the shimmer particles, and the more you'll see the shimmer. So always go broader if you can. Otherwise, extra fines and fines work, but your pen might clog more frequently. All right, this one's for Tin Kim, who I think is also in the chat. We just heard from her. Please pull this order live. Happy birthday to Lucas from Discord. We're going to go back to the back and grab a Narwhal Nautilus. This is one of the Ebonite ones. Is a Lamy Dialogue a juicy nib? Yeah, so again, Lamy is a, a Western nib. Any Western brand you can assume is more broad than Eastern brands. So yeah, a medium from Lamy per se will be like a, a, a broad from Pilot. You know, always go up one, uh, if you will, in terms of a comparison. So yeah, that would definitely be a good option. The Dialogue is super unique as well because it's retractable. All right, we got this pen. The note says, please pull this order live. Happy birthday to Lucas from Discord. Let's go. Right behind you. Let's see what this looks like. Narwhal's a great option too, by the way. Uh, Tim Tim says, I hope I can get a resin with a good color variation. So I'll show you this one, and then if we need to look uh, after the video, we can take a look. But this one looks pretty nice. This one looks very well balanced. Gorgeous. Matches my shirt a little bit too. Look at that. Yeah. This one is the broad, really cool purple nib. Okay, Tim Kim says, this is my first narwhal. Looks great, love it. Let's go. Okay, and then Ashton asks, are we too late to join this queue? No, if you place an order within the next like 10 minutes, we'll get to you. But you just gotta let us know the order number. Tanya says, I got to go to the Mariners game yesterday and rub their win in my friend's face. It was great. Tanya got to go to the Mariners game and rub the win in her friend's face. We all like a little competitiveness to our fanship. All right, Tin Kim, we're going to give you some washi tape. You're going to have three different washi tape from Estabrook and, of course, the Leprechaun sticker. Beautiful. 
Next up, we got Linda E, order number 184707. Please pack my order on the live stream. Thanks. So we got two inks and then a narwhal. <clears throat> Let's go over here and grab the Tasha ink. This one is pronounced Hiroshigi Asahanada. That actually sounded pretty good to me. All right, let's see. Uh, Julio? So, Julio. Julio? What does that mean? I don't know. Who's Julio? Is that a Mariners player? It very well could be. Oh, okay. I don't know Mariners. I don't know Mariners that well because they've never really been good the last like 20 years since they had Ken Griffey. Ken Griffey Jr. All right, so there's that ink. They also had Ichiro Suzuki too. Hall of Famer, for sure. Okay, then we got the, yeah, Shogun. Oh my, I almost juked myself. So we got these two ink. And then let's go to the back and grab the Narwhal. We need this in a stub. My shirt is from Express. Oh wait, it's well either Express or H and M. I can't remember. I think maybe Express. Tanya says Julio Rodriguez. He hit a crazy home run. Nice. We love seeing dingers. We love seeing dingers. Uh, there's a comment here, Andre. You keep you keep popping up on my for you page. If you trade in some ink, I'll give you a good deal on an Acura. Oh, are you the gentleman that sold my dad the Acura? Oh. I can't remember if it's you or not. I mean, I'll trade some ink for a car. Yeah. Doesn't sound like it doesn't sound like a fair trade for you, but I'd gladly do it. Okay, so let's see what this pen looks like. Ooh. Andre says yes, sir. There we go. See, I remembered you. Look at that rainbow nib. And this is a stub, yeah? Yep. Okay, Linda, let's get you a gift. Uh, William says, do you guys have the Sailor Pro Gear in Imperial Black? So William asked if we have the Sailor Pro Gear in Imperial Black. That does not ring a bell, to be honest. But we can go take a look at what we have on display when we get up there. All right, Linda, thank you so much. We're gonna give you some blotter paper. Woo! All right. So underrated. Yeah, the blotter paper is a necessity. Okay, next up we have Cat D, order number 184537. Would love another live order poll on Friday. Thanks for feeding my addiction. And happy birthday, Lucas, another shout out. So we did pull this Estabrook 40 pen zipper case ahead of time. This is the canvas case. Beautiful. So it comes in a few different colors. Oh, already unzipped. Really nice. Yeah, great color. And then we need to go grab another custom 823 and then a Twisby. So we're going to the back a ton. You guys are really making us grab these pens. Hey, you should, uh, you should highlight when I was mumbling to, to, promote, to promote that this is all improv. Cool, I'll grab it in a second and then Tim for Ashton's says, order. Tin Kim says we're getting our steps in today. Absolutely. I expect at least 10,000 steps a day while on the clock. It's a lot of walking back and forth. Pilot Custom 823 clear with the signature nib. Ooh, that's the one I would get. Yeah, it's a I cool one. Smoke. I'll get smoke and signature. Yeah, I like them all. I like them all. Here we go. Here's this. Ooh. I'll show you the clear and then we need the eggplant. Is the eggplant over here? I feel like it is. Let's see. Eggplant medium. Uh-oh. Oh, here we go. We got some help. There we go, perfect. 7440790, that's a winner. So this one's sealed, so we can't show it, but just know it's purple like an eggplant. Oh, come on back. Okay. Uh, we got a comments. 
Uh, Angry Apple Creation says, I do calligraphy pieces. I can't believe I found you. Okay. Uh, Ashton says, the eggplant is definitely on my wish list. Yeah, so we have a calligrapher here, Angry Apple something. Well, welcome to our channel. Angry Apple Creations, what a fun name. Welcome, happy you found us. And then Ashton, yeah, the, the eggplant's very nice. Uh, Twisby's su super successful with every color release that they do. Uh, Angry Apple Creations says their name is Tracy. Tracy, what's up, how we doing? All right, let's keep going. We have Gabe S here, 182984. This one was pulled ahead of time. Uh, because we have another one of those eggplants, which was obviously a little challenging for me to find. This is a fine nib. And then the very last Sailor USA Louisiana bottle. And the note here says, first off, we got a purple pen, a purple ink, and then the note kicks off, not a fan of purple. So that's super funny, but then you read on. But my girlfriend is, so this will make a good gift. You know the deal, run it live. Let's see if I got anything purple to give for your your partner. We'll do an Esterbrook stamp in this washi tape. And then I don't have a purple sticker, but I got this right here. I got green. Boom, Gabe, thank you so much. Excellent gift, very thoughtful of you. Now we move on to Andrew S, order number 183807. Please do a live order poll. Hope to see you guys again at the DC Pen Show. Right now that's undecided for us. Last year we made a spontaneous decision like two weeks before the event to go. Still considering our options now, so maybe my friend, maybe. And it looks like we have a KWZ. This one I think was the last one as well. Walkover Vistula. And then a Colorverse Wolf Point, which should be right over here. Our very own exclusive, which you love to see. This color, whoa, that would be a good clip too. This color right here is an absolute banger. I can't suggest it enough. If you have Wolf Point, let us know in the comments. Let me know what you think of it. This was a collaboration we did with Colorverse. And we did a really cool video that we posted on our TikTok, YouTube, and our Instagram highlighting this. So go check it out. All right. For the gifts, we're going to throw in some Pentel pens as well as the Leprechaun sticker. Perfect. All right. Now we're cruising. Christine G, order number 184424. Feel free to poll live. I watch on YouTube when it's posted. If possible, please check for the most color variation on the narwhal. So again, um, I think we had some team members pull this ahead of time. Yeah, so we're gonna start off with the Esterbrook 20 pen zip case. I lied, it's sealed, but just know it's gonna be half of the 40 pen zip case that you saw. And this is a tan color, not green. Photos on our website if you're interested. And then we have the same pen that we saw earlier. Nice color uh, variation as well. Purple appointments, can't go wrong with it. These are very consistent. Sometimes with certain pens, the variations vary greatly. These ones seem to be pretty on par with each other. That's a medium nib. And then the Pelican Twist and Sweet Lilac, which I'm gonna be super happy to show because for all of you newbies here, this is gonna be a pen that I will suggest to help get you started. So let's walk over here. I think they're, they're chilling. Let's see, yep, right here. The pink. It's gonna be really hard to use, lose this pen, the bright pink. These are about $20 and they're promoted for uh, lefties and righties. So basically if you're newer to the fountain pen world and you're not sure you wanna make a big investment or commitment, Check out the Pelican Twist because it is a triangular ergonomic grip section that will help you get used to holding a fountain pen in the encouraged way to get a better writing experience. If you like it, then you could you know, go further down into the hobby. If you don't like it, hey, you spent 20 bucks, you tried it out. So great opportunity to get you in the game there. Let's get a gift. We'll do the swatch cards, our very own Atlas exclusive, wearing gold swatch cards. And Christine, how lovely. You take care of yourself, okay? Before we circle back to this row, a few things here. I'm noticing we have some of our seminars for the sidewalk sale being promoted on these cards. If you're not familiar, August 15th and 16th is our annual sidewalk sale. We have about 10 workshops being led by vendors, team members, or people from the community. And so we're starting to promote these uh, events or these workshops in our store. So basically, 
you can just walk in and take one of these cards. These are for you to take. It's a quick explanation about what the workshop is, where you can sign up, et cetera. So these are super fun. I think there's a lot of Mad Scientist ink mixing cards here, which I think Tin Kim's actually leading. So you see that looks like a Mad Scientist mixing ink. So it's super fun. The team's been having a good time writing these out and drawing them. But these are for you to take, okay? Perfect. How are we doing? Uh, there in the comments was asking, there's a difference in pens for lefties or righties? So the, the question was, there's a difference in pens for lefties and righties. Uh, no, not necessarily. It's just lefties are at a natural disadvantage because they either go overhook or they go underhook or they write from left to right, obviously. So they, they pull rather than drag, or they drag rather than pull, meaning that their hand gets all the ink um, all smeared over it. And so the idea is that some of these pens that are promoted for lefties they work a little bit better as you acclimate into the writing style. Like Lamy offers a left-handed nib where the nib is cut the opposite way to give them a slightly more of an advantage. And so it's easier to write, to encourage them to maybe like write underhand. That's basically the biggest difference in what I encourage you. If you're a lefty, switch to underhand writing. That's the best way you can get used to not smearing ink. So yeah, so really no difference. It's just trying to help, uh, I guess, supplement the lefties. Yeah. Great question. All right. Ashton says, I overhook as a lefty. It helps with ink smearing. Yeah, there's, there you go. So I, I think you're suggesting you write above the lines. So yeah, I mean, it seems kind of uncomfortable, but I don't know if you're used to it your entire life. That's how you write. Then I'm sure it's perfectly OK. Um, but yeah, that's basically one way you can avoid getting ink on your hands. The other way is to go underhand. So both very unique ways to write, but whatever works best for you is the way to go. All right, we got Tim G here, order number 184456. Please pull my order on Friday's TikTok Live. We've got the Rhodia number 16 dot grid notebook. These are really solid fountain pen friendly choices here. Uh, we got a whole assortment of Rhodia pads, a bunch of different rulings, a bunch of different sizes. I think this one's like five bucks, so great deal. And then looks like Tim's getting our wearing goal swatch card. And it's course of Atlas holding up the globe. And then we need to pivot to the notebook aisle. Charles, we're gonna slide right slide by you, there. sorry. Slide around. And we need the Stology books, which I think might be... Thank you. I'm being told over here, perfect, here we go. B5 red ruled, which has gotta be this one. B5 is the larger size. Perfect, I love seeing some of the smaller lines in our shop get some love. You know, we obviously see a lot of Rhodia and Leuchtturm and Midori, because those are some of the, the more sought after brands or maybe more recognizable brands, I should say. So when we see, you know, Stology get some love or Life or, um, you know, like Pen Coil, it's super fun to see. All right, so that's gonna do it for Tim G. Let's get you a gift. We'll give you uh, book holder from Esterbrook and the sticker, of course. Okay, we've got a few orders left before we get into uh, the mystery boxes and then Lucas's mystery boxes. Let's go ahead and do John R, order number 182, or sorry, 183259. Note says you can pack my order live if you'd like. We got two Pentel V10 retractable pens set aside. The 10, I think, means 1.0, so that's the point size. You can also do v, V5, V7, and then some inks. Colorverse seems to be doing uh, really well in this order polling with our Wolf Point. Seems to be a popular choice. And then Sailor's 23 from the Ink Studio. Check that out. We need the Andorillium Atlas Moth Brown. A lot of people think that's our exclusive. It is not, but Great name nonetheless. Where are we at? Where are we at? Perfect, right here. And then the Polar Vortex, which we did restock, that is an exclusive for us. We were sold out for quite some time, but a ton of you have been asking us to get more, and so we made more. Now we're fully stocked. Really nice color. And then lastly, the Berry Mist from Ferris Wheel Press. Here we go. That's a winner right there. What a lovely assortment of inks. 
nice choices. I also enjoy seeing a wide variety of, of brands on a single order. Any news on the Sweet Dream SD? It launches July 15th. So July 15th is when it officially launches. Quantities will be limited, so we encourage you to act quickly. All right, we're gonna give you some washi tapes. Check it out. John, thank you for the love. Okay, let's go into Denise D, order number 182586. Please pull my order live if possible. I'm happy to see uh, or be a part of the A team. So first item that we have set aside is the Alchemy Symbols washi tape from Cora Crea Crafts. The Cherry Blossom Safari, which is the newest one on the market. Got the nice contrasting red with the pink. This is an extra fine, looks good. Let's go grab the rest of these. Some fun stuff on here. We're gonna start with the, the stickers. So we need the Smooth Like Butter sticker should be right over here. This is one of my favorite stickers we've ever done. Stay smooth. Check it out. Cora Crea Crafts. Oh, a washi tape, transparent Baroque. It's a little bit of a challenge. It's okay. We, we like challenges. This has got to be it. Look at that. Nice. I actually knew which one this was. So oh, good. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. We got that. And then let's head over here. Another berry mist. Seen a lot of duplicates for this order. Perfect. And as we pivot around over here, sorry, I'm getting far, farther and farther away. We need some traveler's items. The threefold file, regular size, and the sticker release book. I think that's the uh, threefold file. Boom. And then, first try, we'd love to see it. We'd love to see it. 1443006, that's perfect. Now we need the 14468. Perfect. Let's go. Denise, you thought you were going to challenge me here, huh? But granted, we did have some help pulling a few of your items pre stream. Hey, you know what? I never mind some help. I'll be the first one to ask for help, you guys, no doubt. So, Denise, let's get you. We'll do some wearing gold swatch cards and the leprechaun sticker. Okay, so we got some mystery boxes left, um, but let's go grab our friend's order off the printer. Can you remember the name or what the order number was? This from Ashton. Ashton, okay. Yeah, let's go grab it real quick. Because then all that's left are mystery boxes, and then we can roll the dice and see who wins the, the mystery boxes from Lucas. All right. Okay, I actually see it right here. Okay, wait, we got two orders that came in. Yeah, I see that one. Okay. Looks like it's an ink. Cool. Let me just make sure we got no more. Okay. Perfect. Okay, Ashton, let's get yours right now. Hey, it's Ashton. Please pull on TikTok Live. I want to give a birthday shout out to Lucas. Also, I've been looking for a good black, hoping this one works for me. And I think it definitely will. It's the Namiki black ink, but wait a minute. Oof. We might have a problem. It normally would be right here, so it looks like we could be out. So here's what we can do. We can either look for it off stream, maybe it's you know put somewhere else. Sometimes when shoppers are in here, they move things around. Or I can make a suggestion that comes out in your favor. Your call, your call. So you let me know what you want to do. We're going to pull this other one in the meantime. Of course, the one item you ordered. Oof, that's tough. All right, so let's go ahead to Tim G, order number 184724. Please pull me on TikTok if possible. An Esterbrook Navy Blue 20-pen zip case. Uh, let's hear the suggestions. 
Let's hear the suggestions. Okay, all right, let's pause Tim's. Here are gonna be my suggestions. Pelican Onyx Black, Graf on Faber-Castell, Carbon Black. If any of those are feeling good for you, you let me know. Okay, so let's go to the back and grab Tim's items while Ashton decides. Otherwise, feel free to choose uh, an alternative. So we're gonna have to get on the ladder for this. Who doesn't like seeing a ladder pull? Uh, go ahead, Chloe, sorry. There you go, right up there. Look at this big shipment that just came in from Monteverde, from Rodia. Oh, don't tell me we're out of this one, too. Huh, well, I'll get the tan down, just in case we gotta make a switch. You guys striking out, striking out. Oh wait, here we go, this is the box, this is it. And actually I think it is out there. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I was about to say, there's no way we go 0 for 2 right there. All right, while we're back here, we'll grab the Twisby that Tim ordered as well. Iceberg Blue 580 Broad. Iceberg Blue 580 Broad. We got a ton of stubs, holy cow. Perfect, this is the one. This is a really cool color. I know you can't see it because it's sealed, but check it out, you won't be disappointed. Thank you. All right, let's go grab this case. Which, I don't know if I see it over there. Oh, here we go. The Pelican, perfect. And here we go, this is the case right here. Love to see it. Great case. Okay. So Tim, that's gonna do it for you. Let's give you, we'll give you an Esterbrook blotter paper. Boom, and then our friend Ashton's gonna swap for the Pelican, that's a great choice. This is the Onyx Ink. Bottle is just superb. Uh, one of the comments is, uh, the bottle is really pretty on that one. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. Bottle is definitely pretty. Okay, well perfect. I'm glad that uh, we were able to work that out. I'm hoping that it's the right one for you. Okay. There's no way to know. Or Lucas says, how many orders were pulled? I will use an appropriate size dice. Okay, so we got two more to show. But let's, let's count them real quickly. And then Ashton says, thank you guys. Hey, our pleasure, Ashton. You're so welcome. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. There's 15 in the running. As you start preparing, let's pull these other uh, mystery boxes. This one's for Audra B, order number 184671. A whole bunch of ink here that we pulled uh, off camera. Looks like we got a big Ferris wheel press fan. All these fairy tales inks, our Atlas exclusive wearing goal, Avinta, Diamine, more Ferris wheel press. And then which one is this? The Leto, this is an Astro Gem pen. Oh, acrylic -y. It's giving me a. Uh, Space vibes, like Green Lantern vibes. I don't know why. Cool. And then the mystery box, I think you have a note here. So let's take a look. Let's see what it says. Okay. Ink preferences, shimmer. Please pull my order live on TikTok. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at this box real quickly. And I'm gonna make an executive decision here and see what we're missing. We're gonna do a dominant industry. We'll do another diamine ink, and then we'll do, maybe we'll pick, let's see, maybe we'll pick a, uh, we'll pick a linen toolbar ink. Okay, so here we go. You guys love my shirt? Thank you. It's my first time I'm wearing it, so. Cool. I'll have to get more like this then. Yeah, people are like, where'd you get that shirt? 
Yeah, it's either H&M or Express. I can't remember. Um, I picked it up last weekend, actually. Um, Kate says Robert Oster has good shimmers. We'll do that instead of Lennon Tool Bar. Tanya says uh, Dominant Industry Earl Grey Tea. Uh, okay. Ashton says something green, I'm thinking, to match the so I'm going to do a red apple blossom. All great recommendations, but we don't have a red in the mix with the shimmer. Uh, if we go over here, maybe we'll do like... We'll do violet dreams. That's a really nice purple. And then... On the Diamond Ink Vent, we'll do a new color from, or from the new Ink Vent series. So one of the newer ones. I'm thinking we do... I'm thinking we do Moonbeam. This one's super popular. It looks like it's been going super fast. It's not a shimmer, but it's a chameleon ink. It's a great box. Great box. So although it doesn't shimmer, it does kind of change colors a little bit, which I think will be just as fun. Look at that. Dang, look at this order. That's a great assortment of inks. And it was only three, right? It was four. Holy cow, we need one more. Hmm. How about we do the secret garden? Let's get a green in there. I don't think I saw a green. So we'll do the secret garden from Wearing Gold. This is a shimmer ink. Perfect. I mean, you guys, if you had this sitting on your porch with the notification saying it's delivered, oh, I mean, man. you guys would sprint out there and probably open up every ink right away and start testing and swatching would be my guess. People are loving it. Lots of likes. Cool. Let's get, of course, wearing go swatch cards because I'm assuming you have even more inks than just what you ordered. And then the sticker there. Okay. You guys, one last order until we have some fun with Lucas's generous idea of giving away some mystery boxes wow. this one is for daniel s or number 183770 poll on tiktok hashtag dream team love y'all so we need three inks here i'll let the chat recommend some so commenting about how this box is amazing 100 that's a great ink box. it's a great ink box i agree yep yep okay yeah i mean there's i think there's like 10 inks in here let's count them real quick one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 inks. Woo. I'm not saying that that's crazy, but Audra, you might have an ink problem. <laughs> All right, so let's have the chat start reading off some recommendations. I'm gonna pull a couple inks that I like, and then we'll pick one of chat's inks. What haven't we seen today? We haven't seen a private reserve. Let's do private reserve. I'm thinking, I'm thinking Shoreline Gold. Let's get a nice bright orange. That looks good. We'll do Shoreline Gold. Let's come over here. We did. One of the comments says, it's not a problem, it's a passion. It's not a problem, it's a passion. That's a way better way to put it. That way you can justify. I'm also going to pick a Monyo ink. Yeah, we're going to pick Fuji by Sailor, the Monyo. And then any recommendations? Let's get a Shimmer ink. Uh, Ginger says Vinta Vesper Blue. Vinta Vesper Blue. Let's see what that one looks like. I don't think that's the Tagalog name, though. I don't know which one it is. Oh, because it's in the... Um, These are the Tagalog. Any other ones from, <laughs> from Vinta? Yeah, if they have the Tagalog name, we can find it, but I don't know which one it is. Yeah. We're not going to be able to find it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, great idea, but yeah, we're not going to be able to find it. Uh, what else? What else we got? Do you know what? What if we balled out and like gave him this? Oh, man. Yeah, this is that limited edition set. Why don't we do this? You guys agree? I think we should do this. Daniel was one of the first, he was in one of the first couple thousand followers of the Atlas account like two and a half years ago. 
So I think he's well worthy of this. People are saying, yes, send it. Look at that. This is easily like a $100 mystery box, so. All right, Daniel, much love as always. I think the box you're getting is fire. Hey. We got the card right here. And then we'll give you a... Tim Kim says, what is that ink? Show it off. Is that the Tatcha box I've been wanting to buy? This one is the, yeah, it is. Um, we have, we'll do a video on this. I think we actually, it's from London Toolbar. I think we actually uh, have one open that we can showcase. So we'll do a video on it. But yeah, super cool. That's a banger of a box. Woof, we did some good work today, guys. So I think it's time we, we move on to the moment we've all been waiting for. So Lucas, it is your time to shine. I'm gonna read your note here. Then let's kind of talk live and see how you want to go about this. From Lucas, the birthday guy, please pull this live on TikTok. It's my birthday, and since I have a lot of pens that still need to be used and way too much ink, I decided I want to give back to the wonderful community. I'm going to be donating a few mystery ink boxes for the people who have ordered today. Thank you. All right, so Lucas, here's what we can do. First off, for, from your, your generosity, we're going to match and I'll give a mystery box away as well on behalf of Atlas for your birthday. So you're doing three, we'll do one, that's four total. Do you want to pull the mystery boxes first and then roll the dice or do you want to roll the dice and then if the person's watching live, we can all curate their box? You let me know. How did you want to go about this? As we do that, I'm going to start writing the numbers on all of these. Okay. Uh, so, a couple comments. Everyone's saying thanks, Lucas. Uh, everyone's like, what a sweet thing to do. And then Lucas says, let's roll the dice. Let's roll the dice. Okay. So, here's what I'm doing I'm numbering, and he's not going to know whose number is who. I need to post a note here. And then we'll go back this way. I need another post-it note. This is super cool. Okay, so we got numbers one through 15. So here's what we'll do. We'll have Lucas roll, he'll announce the number, and then, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll find the order and then I'll give you a chance if you're watching live, we can all curate the box together. Lucas, time to roll. I wish we could like see the roll, that would be super fun, but it's totally okay. You let us know what number wins first. Throw drum roll emojis in the chat. Get hyped, get hyped. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Lucas, is saying, Lucas is saying the rolls are dot dot dot, drum roll. Everyone's throwing drum rolls in the chat. Uh huh. Ten. Lucas says 10. Okay, so who is number 10? Number 10 is Andrew S. Andrew S. who purchased these inks. Andrew, are you watching right now? You got like five seconds to reply. Otherwise, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick the box for you and you're gonna be in for a nice surprise. You might not watch this until the YouTube replay, but yeah. Okay, and then we have a couple more numbers. Okay, next number. 11. 11. And then he gave me two more numbers. All right, uh, let's, wait, let me see who 11 is. 11 is Gabe S. Gabe, if you're here, okay. And then he gave me two more numbers. Uh-huh. One. One is Daniel. Daniel's going to be getting two mystery boxes today. Okay, and perfect. Next, the next number is five. And five. Denise D. All right, there we go. That's going to do it for the mystery boxes. So Gabe, Andrew, Denise, and Daniel, if you are here watching, speak now or forever hold your words. Yeah, five seconds. 
How fun was that? They're going to be so ecstatic because if they're not watching this live, they'll see the replay. Uh, and normally people watch the replay before they get their order, so it makes it even more fun because you don't know what you're getting. You get to see it live, or the replay, and then you get your stuff. Gabe so, S is here. Gabe S. Okay, let's give Gabe a round of applause for being a lucky winner here. Gabe, here we go. So you are going to get a box of four inks. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to have the birthday boy pick out an ink for you. We're going to let you pick out an ink. I'm going to pick out an ink, and then the chat is going to pick out an ink. Does that sound good? Let's get it. All right, so Lucas, you tell us which ink you want to give Gabe. Gabe, you pick an ink. I'll pick one, and chat picks one. Lucas says, KWZ Baltic Memories. He had that one ready to go. KWZ Baltic Memories. Perfect. So the birthday boy is recommending this one to you. Must be good because he had that one ready to go. Yeah. All right, I will pick. Hmm, this one's like a, a, a blue, like blue gray, blue black. Just so people know. I'm gonna pick a Van Diemen. Eucalyptus. We haven't seen a Van Diemen yet. That's gonna be my pick. Okay, okay. Gabe, what's it gonna be? What's it going to be? Chat, what's it going to be? Uh, Kate says, what colors do you like, Gabe? That's a very fair question. What colors do you like, Gabe? Ginger just loves the eucalyptus that you pulled. Excellent. Ginger loves the eucalyptus. I only pick bangers, you guys. You should know that by now. Oh, Gabe says, something red. Something red. What if we gave you the, the, the big Karen Dosh infrared? That's a banger of an ink. That's like the most expensive ink we have in the shop. Oh, that's crazy. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. And uh, then Tim chat. Said, uh, wearing gold braid sage. I don't, know, I don't think we have one. Let's take a look. So those are some red recommendations. Excellent. Let's pick a wearing goal. Somebody give another wearing goal. The one that jumps out to me is the from the earth to, in the, or to the moon. From the earth to the moon. That's their, one of their newest ones. A really shimmery gray. That one stands out to me. Moby Richard. Let's see, do we have that one? Dracula we're all out of, I think. We're out of Moby Dick as well. Okay, any other, any other recommendations? You guys are 0 for 3. Like Dracula. Yeah, Dracula's not here. Welcome, welcome to the live. Do I have Croc? That's a green one, right? TikTok Croc? Yes, I do. There you go, how fitting, TikTok. That's a winner. All right, let's go. So Gabe, congratulations. This box is super fun. So that's box number one on behalf of Lucas. Look at that. Okay, the next box, let's do, let's do Andrew. So we need four more inks. Chat, start listing them off. Any inks? Uh, Tanya says Robert Oster Thunderstorm. Okay. And Gabe says thanks guys and thank you Lucas. Oh, how fun. Okay, so Polar Vortex, we're going to do that one. Tanya, we can save your request for the next one. Uh, it seems that Lucas has a type of ink he prefers, like blue grays, blue blacks, blues, because these are both similar shades. All right, what else? What else we got? I'm going to pick Colorverse Hayabusa. This one's a really cool sheening purple. So we got that one. Okay. Chat, let's go. What's going on? Let's hear them. We need two. Uh, Tanya says Diamine Stargazer. That's a good one. We'll do Stargazer. Okay, one more. Uh, right behind you. Perfect. Freshly squeezed sunshine. Let's see if we have Stargazer. This is the last one of Shimmer and Sheen. And then Freshly Squeezed Sunshine. 
Let's go, a bright yellow. Okay, chat, let's get it. So this box is for Andrew. Perfect. So that's Andrew. Andrew, enjoy. That's a really fun box right there. Okay, well, Lucas, so for your last ink that you will be choosing, uh, well, you need to choose two more because we're going to give one as well. Uh, who is number one? This is for Daniel. This is for Daniel. Chat, start listing them off. Lucas, what ink are you going with? Color versus glue on, I like that. Okay, we can do that. A nice yellow green. Very nice. Uh, Luca says, Binta Deep Water Blue or Lucia 1952. Which one? Oh yeah, there we go, perfect. Yeah, we'll do the Lucia. Okay. Three, three, three blues recommended by Lucas. Makes me wonder how many blue inks you have. Bah humbug, okay, okay, we can do that. And then I'll pick the last one. You might not even have it. Oh yeah, right here. There we go, love it. And then for the last one, let's give Lamy some love. I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick Topaz. We'll get a nice brown in there. So we got Topaz. Oh my God, these boxes are fire. You get an ink, you get an ink, and you get an ink. Look at this. So that one's for Daniel. Perfect. Lucas, we need you for one more ink, man. One more ink. Who's number five again? Let's see who's number five. Okay, so we got Denise. Okay, so... Wait a minute. I just realized we forgot to pull Denise's ink. I could have sworn I pulled it though. Good, good thing we did this. The, um, the berry miss. Well, let's go grab it. Okay, one more set of four inks. Chat, we need your suggestions. This one is not a part of the mystery box. This is one that they ordered. Okay. So, okay. Uh, we're getting some suggestions. Vinta, burnt sugar. Oh, I love the platinum. Let's see if we got. Okay, we'll do khaki black. We're out of compeki. Uh, and then the last one is wearing gold for a food the bell tolls. Love it. What was the uh, the first one? I Binta can't remember. Binta burnt sugar. Binta burnt sugar. From whom the bell tolls. This is the last one. I I'm worried that this might be ordered. This might be allocated. Because we had the holiday sale, the Fourth of July sale. So. We'll, we'll pick another one, and then if this one is not doable, we'll do, we'll do 13 children. Sailor Manyo, Jirakashi. Okay, perfect. So we got Shirakashi. Khaki black, one of these two, and then let's look at the lights on Broadway and let's look at the, the sugar. Uh, what color is the lights on Broadway? I don't think we have it. Yeah, I think that one's gone. I'll pull in a Rory Alice though. That might be a good one. All right, let's go look at the burnt sugar. I imagine it'd be it's like. Not a Tagalog word, so I don't know which oh, I see. Yeah. Unless we have it like. In the book. Yeah. Is that the book right there? Yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, so these swatch books, uh, we have two of them in the shop, and they consist of every ink that we carry. Uh, we basically have these swatches here that make it a lot easier for you to see the inks 
uh, in person because sometimes the labels or the packaging can be misleading. They're sorted by brand. You can also, you know, take one out and compare it. Here's the burnt orange. Burnt sugar? Or burnt sugar, I mean, yeah. Mm. You know, then you can compare it to others. It says the Envil Live in five. Perfect. Uh, hang on a second. I have to do some verification. Ah, I don't know why it's verified. Can verify? Okay. Okay, so the burnt sugar is another brown. We've already got some brown, so um, we got two browns. So we're gonna have to hold off on this one. But yeah, come in, check out the swatch book. I mean, you guys, we, our team puts a lot of work in it. I mean, look how fun it is. Look, I mean, that's so aesthetically pleasing. You know, you come in, you look for a blue, you, you say, hey, I want a blue. I say, well, which blue, boom, et cetera. Okay, so we're gonna do a Rory Alice. We're gonna do a Rory Alice, khaki black, and shirakashi. And then we're gonna do from whom the bell tolls, but if it's allocated already to an online order, we're gonna do 13 children. Boom. That's how we do it. You guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Give a big shout out to Lucas for orchestrating this. Lucas, happy birthday. I really appreciate you wanting to get back to the community. It's people like you who make the community so fun and supporting. So really appreciate the love there. I hope you enjoy your birthday and the weekend coming up. You guys, we'll get all these shipped out. We'll, uh, we'll get this replay posted to YouTube. And yeah, thank you so much for the love, you guys. You know the drill. Stay smooth. Peace.